Oh, hi there. I didn't see you past all this fantastic progress we're making. You know, it's currently push week here at Skookum Studios, and you know, the desk handcuffs have come out, and we got all of our energy uh, juices uh, ready to go. Um, so we're, we're really at the exciting point of development where it's just push, push, push. Let's get this thing done. So things that are considered final are, you know, actually final. Things that cause a little bit of a delay are a big deal. So without further ado, let's, let's actually get right into the uh, video. We put the pedestrian to the test at great risk to our own hardware. Well, kinda. Jed has replaced many of his computer components with ones from like six, seven years ago, just to make his computer a little slower so that we can see where spikes and issues happened with the game. And really it's extremely encouraging to see what will run this game. Something from, you know, eight years ago runs it like a champ, 60 FPS high settings. So we're super stoked that basically all of you will be able to play it at max settings. He also picked up a monitor, um, one that's a different aspect ratio. Just to see how all that works, um, it did cause some issues. Because our game, we want to restrict it to 16 by 9 aspect ratio, because a lot of things are based on screen space. If you shrunk in that screen space, then you're losing some of the play area, and that's not ideal. We want to make sure that it always is at the 16.9 place space. Another thing we worked on this month was functionality of all of our menu items. Things like resolution and full screen and windowed mode and graphical settings. All these items seem to be simple, but with a couple of our game restrictions, it's caused them sometimes to get a bit more time consuming than we expect. We've also updated all the menu icons because they didn't quite look right in our game setting. We've done more visual tweaks to many of the game's lacking shots, you know, and we also worked on the top secret ending portion, which I'm not gonna show you. But along with adding assets and updating shots comes always the relight mapping. Thankfully with our bakery plugin, we've been able to keep all the settings the same and just light map as needed. This helps merge all the old stuff with the new stuff. Another way we can make sure that we're getting all those old things merge it in is through testing. We hosted another beta testing wave, which was awesome. Uh, so thanks for all those who participated in that. You guys are great. Um, all of the surveys and the bug reporting have been perfect. It's just so beneficial to finding all those bugs and odd situations that we just never find ourselves. You know, people play it in different ways. And so we want to make sure that we're capturing all the uh, places that people could be and make sure that Nobody gets stuck. We have new music. So here's a little ditty that our Logan sound man has produced. Let us know what you think. We think all the music is super sweet and will really benefit the gameplay. So here's a set of music from an undisclosed location. second playable characters back in the game. The female character. She was in the game and then she wasn't in the game and then she's back in the game, but now she's officially back for good. She's selectable, she has all of her animations, she um, can be saved and reloaded, all that stuff. She's good to go. We've given our Steam store page a bit of a facelift. All the stuff on there before was back when our Kickstarter was live which was two years and some change at this point. So we thought it was about time to update that. If you would check them out, we have brands spanking new screenshots and GIFs and description and a little gameplay video that we threw together. So yeah, check it out. Let us know what you think. If you haven't wished list it, might as well do that while you're there. The link will be in the description. So please, please, please check that out. It'd be awesome. Obviously there was, two, three, dozen, dozen, dozen 
other small things that just aren't quite worth mentioning, but I'll mention a few of them here. Uh, we had a thing where animations wouldn't continue as you would expect when you're going through a door portal. So if you went into a door portal and then turned around and came out, it would be like he was backing out, which was odd. Signs now dynamically update. So when you're not in a sign and nothing is moving in the sign, it doesn't actually update. So that's a big boost to performance because we have the potential to have all the signs updating all the time. And now things are restricted to like one or two signs, like the one your character's in, maybe the one a crusher's in, or like a piston type thing where it's moving up and down. And yeah, we got a new puzzle. Yay, awesome. A new brand new puzzle. It's been a while since we've had one of those. Since we've tweaked the rooftop mechanics last month, it's been awesome to play around with how that actually works in a puzzle scenario. A lot of our old puzzles still work, but it does open up a kind of new feel to it. I made a video, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there's a new video on our YouTube channel. You can check that out now, that would be sweet. But it's a little short video on how signs are created and put into the game. Um, quick time lapse of me creating a transition sign. If you have a couple minutes, give it a watch. So uh, what's the next for the pedestrian? We have a few animations to edit and tweak. Uh, more music implementation. Music is awesome and it's getting in along with audio. Ending credits, getting all of our backers names and all the people that have helped us out along the way. And we always have a few sign updates to do. No matter where we're at, everything can always be improved. It could be made more fun, less dry, things like that. Besides that and a dozen other small things, we're getting super close. Things are happening, things are moving. You gotta stay tuned or stuff will fly by. We're super pumped for stuff going on. Um, we'll talk to you next time. Later. If you're interested in the pedestrian project, you can follow us on our social medias, which are linked in the description and wishlist the pedestrian on Steam to make sure that you know when it comes out.